Hi, welcome back to Is My Point Valid, where we discuss different topics. I am Camille Stalker, and this is my husband, Brandon D. Stalker. And today's topic is, is it just a piece of paper? So, is it just a piece of paper? <sighs> You're going to start this off, sir. All right. So, yeah. yes, it is a piece of paper. Okay. But. Depending on who the persons are that are signing this piece of paper, it can become a lot more. Okay. So, for me, growing up in a church household from the time that I was born to probably up until about high school, middle school, high school, I've always saw it as more than just a piece of paper, but watching my parents go through their divorce and seeing how that kind of split them and had everyone kind of on edge about the whole situation, that kind of changed my perspective about marriage and union and things like that. So I started out believing that just yes, it, it's a it's a great union. It's a it comes from God, mm -hmm. things of that nature. Yeah, but. After a while, I was like, why would I put myself in a position that may not work? So it discouraged you. Yes. Um, it discouraged you. That divorce discouraged you from thinking that you could get married um, to somebody. So for me, I was surrounded by marriage. All of my people were married. So I figured that's what it is for me. And so when we met, it was, I guess, an automatic thing. But when you told me that you wanted to marry me, that was, a, was it automatic? Or were we still on a, it's just a piece of paper? Or I think at that time, I was transitioning okay. into uh, my older beliefs because um, I, I, I began to see marriages that actually worked. As I got older, um, I associated myself with different people of the church mm -hmm. who were married. And one thing I realized is once you take God out of the equation, yeah, it kind of switches things Problems. up. Yeah, it, you yeah. you you kind of don't have that 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 strive or that 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 want to be in that relationship. It's kind of like, why are we here? Yeah. Um, yeah. Basically that, like that. that. Yeah. I remember when um, the topic came up for us to be married. Um, Brandon initiated it all. I never pressured him. You know, you have some people say, well, I want to get married. That was never the case. Uh, so he came to me. I remember the text message. I'm going to marry you. I don't. <laughs> he said, I'm going <laughs> to marry you. And I was like, this man talking crazy, right? But he showed up every time to show that I want to be with you. And I vividly remember we were getting close. We would, after he had said that he wanted to marry me and I was on this thing of a wedding. I wanted a wedding. I think every woman who wants to be married envisions themselves in that white gown. Everybody wants to be a Cinderella princess. <laughs> I did. I did. I was like, okay, he wants to marry me. I want to, I want that. But that wasn't our reality. It definitely wasn't mine. It wasn't. One, mm -hmm. one thing I did not want is a big celebration because at that time I was still thinking celebration. If it doesn't work, yeah. we put all this money, yeah. all this time, all this effort. Yeah. We got all these people together and it didn't work. It didn't work. So and I, I was, wanted it. <laughs> I was never one to, to, to for the, the big marriage. Uh, something in a small. I didn't want to do the the whole courthouse thing either. Yeah, yeah. Because... That was one of the things that we were against. We didn't want uh, to be married by a judge. Um, I remember growing up, my daddy was always adamant about that. You gonna go in front of a judge? And so it was like, okay, we're not doing the judge. Um, so... No shade to anybody no, who no goes that route. No shade to anybody. Route. That was for but me and Brandon. That, that, that wasn't for us. And so um, while I was on the wedding bit, I remember him getting on me about it. And I was like, hold on now. Well, first off, what you're not going to do, right? What you're not going to do is huh. come at me sideways. <laughs> but um, 
once that bit was over and after I thought about it, um, God just put it on my brain like, ma'am, he wants to marry you. He wants to be with you. He is stating to you. He is showing you this. He's here. And you talking about a wedding? Hmm. You talking about spending money that you don't have? <laughs> and so that was my reality. And once I got out of my own way with that, everything that we needed, that we thought we couldn't do was placed in front of us. Um, like the pastor, we didn't attend a church, right? We were, we didn't go to churches mm -hmm. and that came into play. We didn't know, we didn't have a place to have it to uh, like the reception, the, re the reception and somebody let us into their home and did that for us. And if I would have been stuck on a wedding, I would have blocked my blessing of probably ever getting married. Honest. Uh, so, yeah. It, that, <laughs> but so, and Brandon gave his point on, is it just a piece of paper? It is just a piece of paper. It is. But your birth certificate is just a piece of paper. Your social security, your social security card. card is just a piece of paper. But those things, you need those things in order for certain things to happen. And so, our marriage certificate just gives us more joint that God has already uh, brought between us, but that marriage certificate is like, hey, if anything happens to him, I'm good. And if anything happens to me, he's good. Uh, an example is when uh, you were sick, right? And the doctor had to talk to me. And now thinking about it, what if I was just your girlfriend? You would have walked right past you. <laughs> right, walked right by me and probably went to your mom mm -hmm. and been like, well, Ms. Ms. Stalker. Did because at the end of the day, without that piece of paper, although it's just a piece of paper. I don't have it. I don't have the You rights. don't have rights. I don't have rights. You did, did. And there's a certain satisfaction. I know for me. There's a certain satisfaction that I get from saying my wife, my not my girlfriend, or not my my shouty, my girl, because <laughs> those are the things I used to say, and those are the things I, that I were used to saying. Yeah. But once I got into the my wife, there's something about that that just it, it, it's it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, I like to say my husband, it's my huh. husband, Brandon. I'm a husband. <laughs> I'm a wife. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> So it, it, it's just something with that. And, and another thing, when you're in a relationship, just a boyfriend, girlfriend type of thing, there's really nothing holding y'all together. There's no obligation. There's no obligation. There's no, there, you don't wake up with, I have to be with this person. I have to stay with this person. We have to make it work out because at the end of the day, you don't. Right. You could always go your separate ways. And one thing that she was not going to have was shacking up. <laughs> Y'all, we didn't did all this sinning, right? All this sinning. All this sinning. Yeah. But I wasn't about to live with you. What a disgrace. Live with you? I, was... <laughs> I tried. I, he tried. And you know I was like, happened? I'm staying at my mama and my daddy's house. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it was not. It was like, if you can't commit to me no mm -hmm. and that was just me um so and we didn't do it until we were married and like she said once we once we made a decision to get married we didn't just go out and just just find any old preacher or any any uh, no. uh, these people actually came and found us. Man. It's almost like once we made that commitment that we were going to commit to each other, God was like, "All right, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here, here are you these go. people that are going to commit to you." And they committed to us. Yeah, they exactly. they um, And they didn't just marry us off the rip. What we had to, we had to actually go through a marriage counseling before we got married because I believe it was like a qualifying process or something yeah. to see if we were actually ready for this. If we, if, if we understood the magnitude of what was about to happen. Yeah. So we had to go through that whole process before we were even considered to, uh, to be married 
by this by this certain individual. Mm -hmm. So I thank God for that as well because. We were on some. We were we were on some. We don't want to get married right now because we don't have the money. But it's like anything. There's never a perfect time to do anything. Right. And if you're always waiting for the perfect time, you'll be waiting forever. Right. And I think if our mothers hadn't put that push in us uh, to go ahead, we wouldn't. We wouldn't have done it because we were worried about. Well, we don't have this and we don't have that um, at the time. I know I wasn't working. I had, uh, I quit my job, right? And <laughs> I was the breadwinner. I had, I had quit. But, um, so at that time, I really wasn't dependent on Brandon like that because we weren't one. We weren't that one. But we knew we were going to get married. And so it was just like, take that chance, get married. And both of our mothers told us that. And... And what better way to achieve things <clears throat> than together? Together. I could have, there's a lot of things I could have done by myself, but there, there's a certain satisfaction. Like her call, me calling her my wife, there's a certain satisfaction of building, growing, and establishing things together. Mm hmm so that 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 once that was brought to my attention because I didn't understand that at first I, I was always man I don't have the money for this uh I'm not financially I'm not emotionally I'm not spiritually ready for any of this so that was all given to us within that 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 process yeah, yeah. <laughs> of trying to be uh, of becoming worthy I, I I would say were we worthy? Like, I still feel like, were we worthy or what? Like, and I, uh, like, I know a lot of people say, well, we chose each other, but sh God made this, like, God did this. I wouldn't, at the time, I wasn't looking for anything. I was minding my business. And I will always say the two angels who introduced us, <laughs> man. And I call them angels because if they hadn't said, well, Camille, or if whatever they said to you, there would be, there wouldn't be this, this union. Exactly. And that, like, y'all, that was all God. To, 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 to back up <laughs> a little bit, the whole, the whole process of it was, it had to have been God sent because yeah. I'm a plumber. I've done plumbing for the last 10, 15 years. Mm -hmm. And we met at Toys R Us. So... I it, it was a time where I got tired of plumbing. I got burnt out, and I just wanted to do something different. So I decided to fill out an application at Toys R Us of all places. And at the time, I didn't understand what was happening. I just knew that I wanted to do something different. I wanted to step into a new place so I can refresh my mind. Um, I knew it wasn't going to be permanent. Right. I just needed something to get me away from the plumbing because, like I said, I was burnt out. Um and within that, I found her. So it, it was meant. <laughs> it, it had to it have was, been it meant. Was, it, it was it, meant. It, yeah. You just look back on everything, mm -hmm. the beginning of our story to now, everything, everything is always lying, lining up for, for our marriage. Always. It, it never fails, and I think just with that, it was like, okay, you had to stop plumbing mm -hmm. in order to see, to find your wife. <laughs> and I had to, because I vividly remember him coming up and speaking to me, right? I remember, I just remember it, and he said, um, he asked me for, no, his, yeah, or his number. I don't really remember that. The specifics on that part. I was real slick, sly. No, with you it. weren't, right? Girl, give me that because number so I can guide you and phone call was you, girl. Sitting right there, and you, I, um, you said, "Is that your phone?" And I said, "No." And this man was about to walk away, and I said, "I'm just joking. Like that's my phone." <laughs> yeah. It all worked yeah. out though. If I would, what if I hadn't been truthful? What if you would have been <laughs> truthful? <laughs> But I was truthful. I turned around. I told you I'm joking. That's my phone. See, I had jokes mm. back then too, man. Little slide jokes. <laughs> I wasn't with it. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, and so from there, it was just 
God sent. God. It, it was, it, I, I'm telling you, we didn't pay for a wedding. We didn't pay for the reception. We didn't pay for the food. We didn't pay for invitations. We didn't pay for the music. We didn't pay for, for anything. anything. And it, that, the only, only person that I know can, that, that moves like that is God. It's God. So we had it, it, it was it was almost like once we put God into our into the the union it was it was it was all a go. Yeah, everything like yeah, I'm not, you're right with everything. We didn't pay mm, for nothing, anything. And another thing, the reason why I know that it was God sent because even in plumbing in 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 business period, I didn't really start making real money until I got married. So the whole time we were in a relationship, I was still struggling. Yeah. I was still trying to trying to figure out my way. Yeah. Um ever since we got married, it's been a beautiful thing. Oh. It's been a beautiful thing. I can't even lie. It's been beautiful. <laughs> and I never expected uh, my family to tell you right now, Brandon, married that's all I heard our first year of marriage. When I start uh, just going around like uh, extended family, man, Brandon is married and he's this and that. And I was like, you got this, to be something. This man really did not want to get married. Not me. at all. Did and me. I let it be known to everyone <laughs> until God had other plans. Right, right. So, I mean, I just followed the plan. I, I, Stepped outside of myself and just let God take over. And I, I think that was my biggest blessing because things have been just happening for me ever since I've been in a relationship. I mean, ever since we've been married, not just in a relationship, because like I said before, we I didn't really start doing anything major until we walked down the aisle. So when a man finds a wife, he it's, finds a good thing. And it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> so yeah. that, that's word. That's mm -hmm. word. So our answer to it is, it is just a piece of paper. But we made a vow before God to honor. And so that we're honoring each other because that's what God wanted mm -hmm. for us. Um and I want to do a random ass fact, right? A random ass fact um, that ties into our conversation is any judge can marry you. So. <laughs> Where are we going with it? The person who's prosecuting, the person that is judging, the person that is sending <laughs> our people to prisons, to jails, uh, to rehab centers, all of that, those same judges, those same lawyers, I mean, those same attorneys are the people that are marrying you. They can marry you. So I didn't know this at first, but I knew there was some reason why I didn't want to go to that courthouse. Mm. And bing, <laughs> light bulb moment, I figured out why just now. Yeah. It's because those people are the same people that's prosecuting us. And um I don't know about y'all, but that don't seem too uh godly to me. Right. But that's another subject for another series. <laughs> uh <laughs> so yeah. Um that's is that it? Is that that's, all we got? That, yeah. That it is just a piece of paper. We understand why some people do feel that way. Mm -hmm. We understand that some people do want to make a commitment, just be committed to that person. But why won't you just commit to that person through God? Like, mm -hmm. get a pastor. <laughs> find you a pastor. Find you a church. Find you a church home if that's what it has to be in. And do it the right the, way. The, our right way is what we think, yeah. you know. And But with God in it, God in the mix. And when you have God in the mix of your marriage, of yourself, within you, some big things happen. Mm -hmm. Big things happen. When you put it all into his hands and he'd be like, ma'am, I see you, sir. I see you making an effort to make this thing work. 
that I'm going to bless you and I'm going to bless you and I'm going to bless you. And he has blessed us, not just with our home or, but with two beautiful daughters, he has blessed us. And he continues to just, y'all. He amazes me every day. Every day. When I think I'm down, he always gives me something to lift me up. Yeah. So, yeah. and I think that directly mm -hmm. is associated to the union that we have created here yeah. through Christ, through God, through doing all of the right things, through staying faithful, through staying making true to a, ourselves. Making that choice. Yeah. Uh, if we didn't make it that choice. And I'm going to tell y'all like this. Uh-oh. I don't know where I would be without this one here. I mean, it's just, just overall, I don't know where I will be. She keeps me straight. She keeps me focused because if y'all know me, I, sometimes I'm all over the place. And to have someone to be like, hey, ah, ah, we here mm -hmm. is a beautiful thing. So that, that alone is, is, is just... For me so yeah i feel the same you be making me be all all great all great huh stuff. yeah you know <laughs> elevation growth that's, and that's what it is like elevate elevation if somebody is not if your partner is not not making you but trying to help you grow because all help you know mm -hmm. a helpmate i'm I'm not here to tell him what to do. I'm here to help you. Exactly. I'm here to help you be great. You're here to help me be great. And that's what we have found in our marriage with our piece of paper. Like, <laughs> because honest, if we didn't have that piece of paper in our lives, I he doesn't have any obligation on what I do. And I don't have the same. I would be doing whatever I wanted to do. The only obligation he would have is take care of his children, right? But... So I'm glad for that piece of paper, but I'm honestly glad for our covering that God is giving given us. So yeah. So even though it is a piece of paper, it is basically <laughs> there are certain factors that you need to yeah. place into the equation, and like I always say, once you put God in the equation, things really start adding up. Yeah. So, it's more than a piece of paper when you really think about it. Yeah. If you if you have that 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 spiritual awareness, uh, that just that higher calling upon yourself, then you, you then you you know that with this piece of paper is is a lot of it's responsibility. A lot, right? It's, yeah. It's a lot of responsibility and. In order for this this to work, then there has to be some work put in. Right. So it's every day. It, it's challenging. It's it's not always easy. Um, but is anything easy? You know, is anything, anything worth having? Anything worth having? Easy to get to? No. <laughs> no. There's some where we see that meme where there's just the the smooth sailing. And then you have all the hurdles. It's the the bob the barbed wire and the rocks, and you got to get mm -hmm. over it. That's what marriage is. <laughs> the barbed wire. Oh, I'm scratched. Ah, oh, like you got to yeah. you got it's hurdles. You got to get over things, right? But for me and mine, <laughs> for me and Brandon, we don't think that that would be possible without what we have without God. Yeah. And another and one more note, um, the union that we have is also uh, it, it's also an example. I mean, it's also something that our kids are seeing yes. as well. Yeah. So they see me praising my wife. Mm -hmm. They see me uh, uplifting my wife. Yeah. So these are the things that they're going to expect from a man when he comes into their life because if you ain't doing if you ain't treating me like my daddy treats my mama then we ain't having it peace <laughs> and, and, and me personally i'm gonna make sure that that's that's the the, the standard that's, that's the standard, standard. Yeah. exactly so yeah. it, it it all works out for us once you put god in it 
it's it's unlimited. It, it it's I keep saying it's a beautiful thing, but it, I, I mean that's the what's that song? Is a song that says if God ain't in the, if God ain't in the mix, then you're headed for defeat. I can't think of what song it is, but yeah, I think it was like John Say Austin or somebody. Throw back. Throw back. Yeah, <laughs> but so we wrapped up, buddy. Yes, we are. Um, is our point valid? Is our point valid? If you have some feedback, if you have some some things that you want to uh, discuss, if you have some some insight or you don't agree with our, our points, then let us know. Please let, let us, us know. Let us know. Is it just a piece of paper for you? Um, do you feel that just whatever your opinion is, let us know. Because we want to see if your point is valid as well. Exactly. Everybody has their own points. <laughs> We want to know yours. Absolutely. All right. Y'all have tuned in. We appreciate everyone for tuning in for Is My Point Valid? Please tune in next Monday where we'll be coming to you with a whole new topic. Ooh, I wonder what it's going to be. <laughs> uh, we'll find out. Uh, but y'all continue to have a blessed day. And once again, I am Brandon D. Stalker. And I am Camille A. Stalker. And we are signing off. Bye.